guys, this is Hunter. Welcome to the first vlog. Uh, gonna start learning to drift and I thought why not share it with everyone because who doesn't see love to see someone screw up at drifting. It's hilarious. Uh, this is my S13. It was a CA auto. Uh, I destroyed the CA uh, with uh, the crack, a cracked block. Yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, cracked block. Swapped it, managed to swap it somehow, a cracked block CA for a SR. It's still non-turbo, but like it goes. So why why did you swap me? I don't know. Anyway, let's check it out. Alright, so here's the S13. Uh not much to actually see, but we've just got a rad, thermos, exhaust, strap A, brace. Uh still DE planning to save up for Probably an S15 SR20 dead first before I want a one jack, but you know, that's future stuff, don't need to get caught up in that right now. Uh, we've got adjustable coilovers all around, don't know what brand they are. I picked them up for literally $200 and they don't leak or squeak, so whatever. <laughs> Typex skirts on both sides, nothing on the rear bumper or on the front but you know uh, again I have like future plans that I'd rather not say right now uh, we've got some fakes some real fakes <laughs> with the rotors we've got cast arms by GK Tech we've got a full set of just skid wheels uh, which it does pretty good at the car's just got a lock diff uh, it needs a respray which again like that is on the books. I have all the paint, just need the time. Yeah, lock diff and a steering wheel, and that's it, literally. I've never seen this thing overheat, but every car has its problems, and uh, this one has a dead starter motor. I tapped the starter motor mode while I was cranking, and a huge spark just came out of it, so she's fried. Uh, so today after work I just picked up this one it was $50 I can I can give it back so that's fine uh, I also went and picked up a big boy O2 sensor $10 and the reason for that is these small boy O2 sensors do not fit in my manifold so we'll just chuck these two on today and uh, see how that goes okay so uh, yeah I've just walked in the screws and then it is yeah literally just these two oh gosh my hands are too big to get in there but you can see so you just walk them in slowly uh and then it's pretty much oh god there's the new starter that's a way easier picture to see um and then ooh, i'll show you what i'm using um, we've just got an elbow joint and two extensions and that's all you need just that and a ratchet we're good to go so we've done the starter motor let's try and get that bolt off uh, I don't know what that is maybe it's a 24 um, yeah we'll just go with the 24 I don't really know Nope, not at all. That's too too, <laughs> too big. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't think I have. I'm pretty sure it's 22, and I'm pretty sure I don't have one. <sighs> God damn it! I mean, I don't want to have to use this, but I think I have to use this. Shit. Uh, is that two? No, that's two. Okay, maybe not. Okay, it's a straight 20. Oh. Okay, I just pray that the big boy actually fits. It should, but <laughs> look at all the carbon, man. Yeah, that's all that over fueling, so. Yeah, it looks good enough. Whatever.
Hey, we're good to go, boys. All right. Okay, cool. Okay. And that's a 13. Okay, so uh, let's give it a go. Hopefully it works, man. <sighs> Here's the interior, nothing special. There's the fans, so we have power still. Hey, it cranked and it fired. Sick, man, she works. Everything else works, like the power windows work. Everything works. I am stoked. Sorry if the fans are really loud. I miss driving this, man. It's been two weeks and I'm kind of dealing with getting married and saving up money for that and stuff, so, you know, it's nice to always spend a little bit of money on the car. I love my car. <laughs> so, thanks for stopping by. Uh, in the future, when I'm working on the car, I'll try and showcase more actual working on the car. It's just like today. I wanted to get the car done, I was so excited, so uh, basically this is my learner slash really simple sea time car. The track I'm going to, which is just down the road, um, isn't high paced at all, so the DE is going to be pretty good at it. Hey guys, um, so I didn't really know how to end it off last time, so I figured we'll just go for a drive on a set of and try and do some tandems or something. Um, yeah, this first video was pretty rough. <laughs> Looking back after just, I just finished everything, yeah, so it's it's definitely not awesome quality, but I uh, definitely look to you know be upping the game with. Uh, you know, I can bring it out set up for recording video and stuff and hopefully adding this gameplay to stuff. Um, I'll be trying to do a mix of, you know, playing a set of and playing games. I make mods for a set of, so there'll be a bit of that if you're interested in watching that and doing a tutorial. As well as after my wedding, I'll try and make going to the track every two week, two days every week. That's pretty tough going, but also the track's pretty cheap. So we'll just see how it goes. Um, Tuesday nights, are practice nights, and then Thursday nights. Yeah, Thursday nights are full track, so no stop and start line will be interesting when it's my first time. Um, I just had some bad news today as well. It's a different day than when I first did that video and started, but my right ear the hose is burst. So that's awesome. <laughs> Hopefully I can fix that before Tuesday. Um, oh, yeah, so good. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can fix the hose by Tuesday. Uh, I've also got some bike pads coming just before the transfer, so when that, you know, I look at the rear ones and they're pretty iffy. The front ones are great, but I'll swap them all and we'll, we'll get to see that. Um, for those that may have come from my old gaming channel, what's up? It's been a long last time. <laughs> and I don't know, I hope you guys stick around, because I'm going to stay 
had this one for a long time. I think this is some, a little bit of format, and I'm in a really good position to do. Oh, shit. Oh, we have a three count to end of go? Damn. Uh, yeah, I'm just in a better position to do all the things. So, yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's uh, try and get some tandems in. And then we'll end it. Um, also, with this side bit, I mentioned it again on the track day, but this is the only practice I've had to think. I've done like a, I've uh, done a neutral drop into a corner, and then, you know, first and then slam second, just to get an idea of like how much it is compared to this. Obviously, there's like a lot of verbal factors like defaults and all that, but um, yeah, it'll be interesting. I've done a few hours on this game, so it'll be cool to see how this translates if it translates. I did not know if I was going to hold that or not. Alright. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I think I'll call it there, guys. Um, yeah, again, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll try and I've got the GoPro now, so I'll just try and get some more footage of when I'm actually working on the car instead of what I had today, kind of showing you the end of it. Uh, there was just no room and like I was using my phone and, you know, video with the phone is super zoomed in, so there was no room to even capture anything that I was doing. <laughs> but now with the GoPro, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll do well. So, catch you later.